Shahira Fami. Who are you? I'm an Egyptian architect, uh, uh, born and living in Cairo. Uh, recently, since January 2014, I moved to New York. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm a mother of two. I have a 14-year-old girl and a nine-year-old boy. They are currently in Cairo. I'm in New York trying to settle something for them and then move them um, from Cairo. I'm a, professor, I'm a visiting professor at Columbia. And um, um, up to 2010, I had a practice that I started in 2005. And this practice is uh, the work spans from architecture, urban planning, to product design. And uh, by 2010, we were 42 as a team, uh, architects and, and collaborations. And then uh, the revolution came early 2011. I had to shrink down. But it was a great opportunity for me to look outside of Egypt, because mainly I was concentrated in the Middle East and Egypt. And starting 2011, I started gaining competition in Switzerland, London, and now currently I have a project in New York as well. So um, um, that's, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm a single mother, like I'm, I'm divorced currently. <laughs> Could you explain us uh, your prototype? Yeah, um, the Marsha Beya is a um, kind of work, uh, in Cairo there is no uh, wood, we, we import all the wood. So basically this tradition uh, has been there for a thousand years and it's all about um, uh, using the recycled wood. Because wood was very precious in Cairo and uh, um, so all the leftovers or wood are made to be, to, to be these beads and then they use them to do a lot of the screening in Islamic Cairo and so it's an Islamic tradition and um, it's used in, uh, as an architectural element in, in a lot of the buildings and the tradition is still there and what I try to do with it is that it's usually done uh, framed in pieces of furniture, framed in windows and I wanted to get it out of this framing so I um, I went and saw how the process begins and how they tie these beads together with kind of fibers and I said okay I want to use it with that you know at this stage not further uh, um, along the line where they put the, the wood frame just to make it sturdy so um, I took it off and I, I left only the strings and then I wanted to reuse it for different things because it has this incredible idea about an architectural grid where uh, the measuring point is the like the first pattern the second the third so you can do a lot while having you know a flexible grid you can do libraries you can do um, all kind of furniture because you have a measuring tool within the piece itself um, so I did a whole series and the tablea which is also um, tablea means um, the dining table. Dining table in the tradition was a piece of furniture that you move around and the family sits around it. So this piece you can move it from here and you just carry it and you just open it wherever you want to eat on the floor. And then all the family sits around it, they open it up and sits around it. So it has this nomadic um, character about it that you can store it, assemble it, move it around, carry it and take also the tray. So it always comes with the tray. And so the tablet is a traditional also furniture piece and the mashabeya and I try to use them both to do something different that comes with different sizes and different uh, shapes and um, and it's, yeah, that's it. Which is the relationship uh, with Patrizia Moroso? Um, I uh, met uh, Patrizia uh, Moroso in uh, New York in January 2014, so like the, uh, the beginning of this year, and um, I was very happy to meet her. I showed her all my work, and she was so enthusiastic, <laughs> and um, I couldn't believe that today I have a product in April 2014 uh, at the Salone. So that was very quick and, um, um, and very supportive of her. Um, I started my journey with product design in 99, uh, where I was pregnant with my daughter and I couldn't work architecture. So I, I was staying at home and um, 
for the first two years of my daughter. So I worked on product design competitions. And I won one where uh, Ingo Maurer was the jury, so he told me, go to Salone Satellite. So when I went to Salone Satellite in 2007, um, I got featured by Financial Times, I got featured by a lot of uh, journals to be the first ever Egyptian in Salone Satellite, which I didn't know. And uh, <coughs> Marva Griffin also supported that. And um, and since 2007, my dream was to have a product with a company like Moroso or Moroso. <laughs> let's say that. So to meet Patricia in January was like a great luck for 2014 for me. And um, I'm very happy to be in design um, in the design week with uh, Patricia Moroso. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.